algebra set one, question one, says factor b squared minus 49. All right, so we've got b squared minus 49. If you look at your answer choices, you've got negative seven and negative six. So all the answers have seven and six in it. So uh, this column here, if you will, is all negative sevens, and this one alternates between negative six, positive six, negative seven, positive seven. So you have an option here of sort of narrowing your thinking. You know you're going to have b minus 7 as one of the answers. And so what we want to do is figure out, well, how do we get 49? If we take 7 times 6 and 7 times 7, well, 7 times 6 is 42, and 7 times 7 is 49. So we can immediately get rid of the ones that have 6 in it. And so now we need to think, well, how do we get um, effectively negative 49 because this is minus 49? Um, and the way that you would get that is if you had one negative. And so um, one negative and one positive is going to give you D. Let me just show it to you another way. If you were to actually multiply the answer here together, would we get the question b squared minus 49. So I like to do these like almost like they're Punnett squares. So let's put b minus 7 up here and then b plus 7 here. This becomes b squared. b times positive 7 becomes 7b. b times negative 7 becomes negative 7b. And then negative 7 times positive 7 becomes negative 49. If we add these together, they're going to cancel each other out. Positive 7b minus 7b is 0. So we end up with b squared minus 49. So d is the answer. Algebra set 1, question 2. What are the solutions to the equation 36 plus x squared equals 100? I always encourage people to look at the answer choices to help guide your thinking. So notice we got 10 and negative 10, 8 and negative 8, 6 and negative 6. And with this x squared, we're likely going to have to find this the uh, square root of something. So if we rewrite this, we have, oh, sorry, let me erase that, start that again. So we've got 36 plus x squared equals 100. So if we want to isolate this x squared, let's subtract 36 from both sides. These cancel out or become 0. 100 minus 36 is 64. And now we've got x squared equals 64. So if we want to just solve for x, the inverse of squaring something is taking the square root of it. And so x will be equal to the square root of 64. Now I'm always encouraging students to use um, the calculator. You most likely would be able to use the calculator for this. I know it's just a, it's a perfect square and you probably know it. Um, so we've got x is equal to 8 and also negative 8 because negative 8 times negative 8 will also equal positive 64. And so our answer is C. Algebra set one, question three, find the two solutions to the equation, x squared minus six x equals eight. Okay, well let's start by rewriting this. Um, notice your answer choices are all very similar. So use that to help guide your thinking. So if you get something that's looking wildly different from two and four, um, you're probably not doing it correctly. So, um, the first step we want to do is we need to set this equal to zero. So what we're going to do is add eight to both sides. And that's going to give us x squared minus six x plus eight equals zero. So now we can um, try to solve this. So we um, want to start here with factors of eight. How many ways can we come up with eight? Well, we could do one times eight and we can do two times four. All right, well, there's where our answer choices come in. So, um, being that this is positive eight, and this is negative six, um, 
we need to add these together so that we get um, negative 6. So what would we have to do to 2 and 4 here to get negative 6? We'll make them both negative. And then again, if you multiply negative 2 times negative 4, you will still get positive 8. And so if we set this up as x minus 2 times x minus 4, that will, in fact, give us um, this. If we were to work backwards, we would get this equation. And so what would the answer choices be? Well, x would be equal to 2, and over here, x will be equal to positive 4. So we're looking for positive 2 and positive 4. So in other words, when 2, when, sorry, when x is 2, this um, expression here becomes 0, which will set this equal to 0, which is what we want. Same thing here. If, if x equals 4 here, then this whole thing will be 0, and then the answer will be 0. So b is our answer. All right, that's a wrap on another GED video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe below. Um, we try to put videos out frequently. If you want a daily question in your Instagram or Facebook feeds, please find our profiles below. And good luck on the GED.